Okay, hey, hey everyone, I'm starting over again. <laughs> um, I just wanted to go over um, what the settings for your um, Facebook page, also what the cover letter look needs to look like, your introduction and things of that nature. So um, here, th this is a cover, this is a small photo of yourself. It should be nice and clear. This really is not a clear photo of me. I'm going to be updating it. And this should have a really nice background that's really eye-catching eye picture, really appealing, something that's outdoorsy with a little quote on it. Um, keep it short and simple. Just don't drown it out, okay? So I'll show you guys of something, give you an example of something that I've seen that I like that's really beautiful and something that I, I see that I love, okay? And you don't have to copy this exactly, but you just want to make sure that you have a clear shot, a clear photo um, when you're looking at your cover fo your cover photo, okay, it should be very professional and appealing. So here's a, um, a lady that um, I follow, and this is hers. This is a picture of her. It's really clear, okay. It's a clear picture, and this is her back, uh, her, her beautiful background of her cover photo, and it's really clear. It's appealing. It's nice. It's clean cut. It's straight to the point. You can go to Fiverr. And you can get something like this done for you for, for pretty cheap, like 10 bucks. Or you can find something yourself and upload it. Just make sure from Google, just make sure that it's a clear shot, okay? So that's the first thing. This is this is really nice, and this background is really beautiful, okay? So now we're going to move on to your introduction. The introduction here, I have Mother Coach, Online Marketer, Problem Solver, One-on-One -on -one Training for Your Success. So what you want to do is to get this, you go into your introduction, all you're going to do is hit this edit button and just edit it. Um, you can copy and paste this as if you're going to write something, and then you can edit it here so you can change the emojis and put the emojis that you want. So it doesn't have to say this. It can say anything you want it to say. Um, just make sure that you include something that is related to helping people, inspiring people, coaching people, mentoring people, helping people solve problems. That's the most important part. So you want to just take this, paste it in here as if you was going to write a post, add your emojis. When you're done and it looks good to you, just copy it and paste it back over here. But don't post it. All you need to do is you're using this just to edit it. Okay. Um, and in here you can change your um, this information as well. Um, if you click on this edit button, I have, listen up, don't spam me. I won't join your company. If you want to learn about marketing, inbox me. And I only did that because I want people targeted traffic. I want people that are interested in what I have to offer to contact me and no one else, because you'll get a thousand people a day that is offering you your opportunity when you're just trying to focus on your business. That's what you need to focus on. Okay. So then now let's go into the settings. If you click on that little down arrow and then you go into settings, this is the part that you need to edit that's really important, extremely important. So if you go into privacy, who can see my stuff? That needs to be public. Okay. For your friends list, that can be public or private. It's up to you. That doesn't matter. But this first part needs to be public. Okay. Um, and then, you know, everything else is fine. However you want you to maneuver it. Um, you just want to make sure that the post that you're putting up is public. And then you want to go into, um, timeline and tagging. And who can post on your timeline that needs to say only me. Okay. Review post friend tag, friends tag you in before they appear in your timeline that once you want that to be on who can see your post you've been tagged in on your timeline only you you want to be able to see that and then you can accept it if you want to accept it and have it added to your timeline but i would not suggest that because you want to grow and um brand yourself you don't want to be promoting other people's business okay so those are the two things that is really important for you to update and make sure that that's correct okay
Okay, guys, and then last but not least, where it says public post, who can follow me? You want that to be public? Public post comments. You want that to be public. Public post notifications should be public. Public profile info, public. And then this is really important, guys, comments ranking, because that's what we're focusing on, is we're going to have a lot of people commenting on our post. So that needs to be on. Okay, so you're going to just edit and turn that on. Okay, so that's the last part that you need to make sure that you um, edit in your settings. So the public post is the last part. Okay, so I hope that, that that's going to get you set, set up. You don't have to do anything again with that. You're all set once you get that done. Okay, so I'll go ahead and create some more videos for you guys.